Welcome to the city of York, famous for its rich history. But not far from the center lie treasures of a different kind, proving you don't need to travel halfway around the globe to experience the wonders of biodiversity. This is the green heart of York, my local nature reserve, St. Nick's. Today, St. Nick's is a green haven. But it wasn't always like this, and the most startling transformation took place last century. During the 1950s, this whole area was a landfill site, and it took campaigning from local residents to have the site closed and covered in clay, sealing in the litter and dangerous toxins. After many years of planting and natural regeneration, St. Nick's was designated a local nature reserve in 2004. Today, the site includes a variety of habitats, a stroll along one of the many trails illustrates the amazing diversity of animal life. Birds, bumblebees, spiders, and the impressive cardinal beetle. Now that's all very nice, but why does any of this matter? Well, I could talk about ecosystem services, about plants soaking up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, bees pollinating local fruit trees, etc. And while I'd argue that's all true, it's not the main reason why St. Nick's is so important. I've come to the focal point of the reserve, the Environment Centre, to explore the reason why I think St. Nick's is so important. The centre has a pond, where local school children can come and experience wildlife that they wouldn't normally see, such as frogs, newts and water beetles. Pond dipping symbolises a major idea about the importance of biodiversity. Put simply, Biodiversity is important because contact with nature makes people happy. Sounds a bit wishy-washy, doesn't it? And in a world of facts and figures, it's an idea that few ecologists would feel comfortable using. You can't assign a monetary value to it, therefore you can't prove it's important. Or can you? In 2011, the UK government conducted the National Ecosystem Assessment, a vast study aiming to calculate the value of green spaces. Their tentative conclusions? That green spaces in the UK are worth £30 billion per year in benefits of health and welfare. Such benefits include encouraging people to take exercise and increasing social engagement, a fancy term for getting to know one another. At St Nick's, people can take this green exercise by volunteering and get to know members of the local community through participating in the guided walks, open days and social activities on offer. I went to see St Nick's Chief Officer Tom Waring to see what his thoughts were. You've got a lovely nature reserve here, but is the biodiversity important? Would St Nick's provide just as much benefit to people if it was, say, a short-cut area of grass and some park benches? The thing that we really provide here is exactly that. It is the biodiversity. It's the thing that people want to come here to see and it's a little pocket of nature that's in York. You know, we're, we're an urban nature reserve, um, we're not kind of in the middle of the country somewhere that's where you can see lots of nature around you. Mm. So it, it's, it's an opportunity to come here and engage with a whole variety of species. There's literally hundreds of different species of, of plants, birds, insects, small mammals here. Have you seen firsthand any of the benefits to health and well-being to the people who come through here? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, we've we've run a, a project called Bearing Fruit for a couple of years, two years. Mm -hmm. That's funded um, through Eco Minds to do that. So I was working with people who were recovering from uh, mental ill health, mm -hmm. um, and the project was a great success. There was over seventy three percent of people that actually reported feeling um, benefits from being out in the you know in, in the nature on the nature reserve mm -hmm. and doing the conservation work, uh, you know, benefits to their mental well-being and to their physical well-being. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. So, I see St Nick's as being important for three reasons. Number one, it provides slice of habitat in what would otherwise be a big lump of concrete. Two, that habitat is home to numerous creatures from which we gain ecosystem services. And three, the contact between people and nature provides benefits in health and well-being, which researchers are only now managing to assign a monetary value. 
while the prospect of sticking a price tag on everything may not appeal to everyone, I'll leave you with this quote from newspaper scribe Damien Carrington. Putting a price on nature can't be worse than giving it all away for free. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil. And we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien, which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching.